All right, what we got here is a motorcycle bottom end from a Yamaha and my son's rebuilding it and we can't get that bearing out and we've tried a bunch of stuff we tried heat blind bearing puller we even tried the old wet uh, wet uh, cardboard trick and it still wouldn't work so that things jammed in there pretty tight so today we're gonna build we've built a makeshift puller it's a piece of all thread and it's got a washer welded onto it and our idea is is weld it to the bearing put this 2x4 across with the hole in it put that washer and a nut and see if we can't twist it out so let us get it put together and uh, we'll let you look at it. Okay, there's our setup. Did it go? Uh, no. No. The weld, the weld broke. Okay, the weld broke. We'll be back. Ah. 
How about that? Okay, word to the wise, don't use red silicone to seal your clutch cover. <laughs> All that red stuff? The silicone? That's red silicone, high temp silicone. Use Yama Bond or the black stuff, don't use this stuff. Well, yeah. Sweet. How's the case? I think we just need to clean that up a little bit. Oh, that's supposed to be there. This? Yeah, here. Yeah, that's they can wipe that up. Yeah, that that's a retainer for the other bearings. You go there. So we didn't hurt the edge of the case. No. Other than it being a little grimy, you know, you can't really tell. Okay, that's how you get a stuck bearing out after a blind bearing after you've exhausted all efforts so the issue was that bearing had zero clearance it was pressed right up against here and the lips off this blind bearing puller couldn't get up and under it so no matter how much I tightened it to spread those out it could never like it could never get a good hold and so when I pound it out, it just slipped right out. So then I tried the heat method, flipped it upside down and just, you know, tried to tap it or, you know, tried to pound it out. That didn't work. And then tried the, the grease and the rag method where you stick grease and a rag in there and you get you like a, a punch and you hammer it, you apply pressure. And in theory, that water or the grease is supposed to work its way behind the bearing and because there's nowhere else to go it's supposed to lift it out that didn't work either because this is where the there's a clutch lever that comes through here and that's what pushes the clutch rod out and so because of that the grease and the water found a way to get through without you know it could never build enough pressure to push that bearing out so we resorted to extreme measures <laughs> I'd say that's pretty extreme yeah anytime you got to weld it get a bearing out but it's out now and he can uh, now I can finish rebuilding it okay. she lives again <laughs> <laughs>